Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to discuss two most important theorems which is the area of a circle and area of an ellipse. The content from intermediate higher mathematics in integration part. Okay, first one show that area of a circle is pi r square where r is the radius of a circle. And then second one we will show area of an ellipse is pi ab where a is the semi major axis and b is the semi minor axis okay first give attention in number 1 area the right hand content area of a circle area of a circle okay let equation of a circle b x square plus y square equal r square is radius of a circle equal r uh, now find the value of r here or sorry and uh, we have to find the value of y square so y square will be r square minus x square or y will be r square minus x square by doing integration we will find the area of a circle so now draw a area like this one is the equation of a circle whose area radius is r. Just consider this one is x side, x positive side, and this is the negative side of x axis, and upper side y positive and lower side y negative, and this is zero. So this is basically this point is zero r. They using coordinate geometry, and we can also write here this one will be r zero so now just consider here the one put what so the dark shaded area will be uh, y equal y equal y d of x by using integration limit zero to r and basically this first quadrant is y equals to uh, y d of x the integration limit is 0 to r but if we times here 4 the first quadrant part second quadrant part third quadrant part fourth quadrant part so if we multiply with this one with 4 we will get here total area of a circuit so this one is the area for times of integration y dx where the integration limit 0 to r that is the positive side of x axis okay now put the value of r here for times of 0 r y equal to root of r x square sorry r square minus x square r square minus x square d of x just uh, let x equal r sin theta. Now to differentiate d of x will be r cos theta. And integration limit when x equal when x equal 0 and r so just do calculation when x equal 0 when x equal to 0 this one will be r will be 0 like r sin theta equal x when x equal 0 the lower limit r sin theta will be 0 or sin theta equal 0 or sin theta equal sin 0 degree or theta equal uh, then theta 
equal zero. So theta will be zero. Uh, when x equal r, then r sin theta will be x and x equal r. That is r sin theta equal r and sin theta equal just dividing by r will get one that means sin theta equal sin pi by 2 that is 90 degree equal 1 so theta will be pi by 2 so when x equal 0 then theta will be 0 when x equal r then theta will be pi by 2 now change all integration limit here uh, like this four times so first 0 to 0 this one will be pi by 2 and there will be r square minus x square so there will be uh, r square and sin square theta then d of x the result of d of x is r cos theta oh sorry there will be d theta cos theta d theta so now do simple calculation here 4 times of pi by 2 0 and if we take here r square common r square common there will be 1 minus sin square theta and there is r cos theta d theta so 4 pi by 2 0 uh, just eliminating root and square we will get here only r and 1 minus sin square it will be cos square then square root of cos square will be only cos theta and there is also r cos theta d theta and now area will be here a uh, four times of r square uh, so we can write here four uh, r square integration zero there is cos square cos square theta d theta just write here two r square and write here two cos square theta d theta just now we apply the formula of 2 cos square equal 2 to the 4 2 r square will remain same the 2 cos square equal to 1 plus cos twice theta this is d theta remaining same and the limit is uh, pi by 2 0 and pi by 2 0 so now there will be 2 r square r square now do multiply here d theta plus cos 2 theta d theta just do integration here pi by 2 pi 0 pi by 2 0 ok there will be twice r square we get here only theta plus there will be 1 by 2 times of sine twice theta and integration limit together we can use here integration limit pi by 2 and 0 okay uh, now do simple calculation here uh, there will be uh, twice r square and if we apply here the upper limit first uh, pi by 2 plus half times of sine uh, sine 2 theta that means pi by 2 and then minus 0 minus 0 there will be 0 minus 0 now twice r square uh, there will be pi by 2 pi by 2 and just eliminating this one sin pi equals 0 so half times of 0 so finally we get here twice r square multiply twice r square multiply pi by 2 that is 2 eliminating this one the final answer will be twice r square so finally we can show that the area of a circle is pi r square by doing integrations just successively doing calculation uh, just we can show that here the area of a circle will be pi r square so just give a attention again 
First you have to write the equation of a circle x square plus y square equals to r square There are two different variables x and y and you have to change one single variable Just I convert I have converted this equation into one single variable which is x That's why just we found here the value of y square or value of y equals to this one just now applying the value of y now this will be one single equation for x variable and and this the first word is the first quadrant and if we multiply this one with the four times we will get here the area of a circle and just at second times you have to give attention here the how we applied here x equal r uh, sin theta if we apply here x equal to r cos theta the answer also will be same because 1 minus sin square we can convert as a cos square 1 minus cos square we can convert sin square so definitely if you write here x equal r cos theta in absent of r sin theta your answer will be same now just doing simple calculation in the second part we applied here 2 cos square is the 1 plus cos square when it will be 2 sin square this one will be 1 minus sin twice theta then doing the simple integration then applying the upper limit and lower limit finally doing calculation we found here the value of the area of a circle is pi r square and which is our first one now give attention to the second one show that area of an ellipse is pi a b where a is semi major axis and b is semi minor axis Okay. Uh, this is x and this one is x prime this one is y this one is y prime positive side of x negative side and negative side there is positive side intersecting point zero and this one is the point is a zero and this one is called the semi major axis 0 to 0 to a if you consider here this one is b there will be b and this one is a so this point will be 0 b and just consider here a okay first quadrant one fourth part of this whole area okay number two number two let the equation of an ellipse be x square by a square plus y square by b square equal 1 where a is greater than b okay as like as previous one just find the value of y or y square by b square will be 1 minus x square by a square or y square will be y square will be taking lcm here a square a square minus x square and just now do cross multiply b will be here b square uh, or y will be uh, root over b a square minus x square divided by a square and finally we will get here b by a root over a square minus x square uh, so now uh, first we consider here y as like as previous one y dx the integration i think uh, just considering here dx x is a variable so we can write here 0 to a and if we multiply with the 4 this is the area of first quadrant the area of first quadrant uh, like 0 a b the area of first quadrant and if we multiply with this one with 4 times and this one will be the whole area of an ellipse so we can write here area 
ओके एरिया ऑफ एन इलिप्स इज इक्वल फोर टाइम्स ऑफ जीरो टू ए वाई डी एक्स नाउ अप्लाई द वैल्यू फोर जीरो ए वाई इक्वल बी बाय ए आर रूट ऑफ आर ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी ऑफ एक्स नाउ दिस वन विल बी जस्ट अप्लाई द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ओके एस लाइक एस प्रीवियस वन राइट हियर लेट लेट एक्स इक्वल ए साइंथिटा और डी ऑफ एक्स विल बी ए कोस थीटा डी थीटा जस्ट डिफरेंशिएट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू थीटा नाउ सो फॉर एन एक्स इक्वल जीरो एंड ए देन थीटा विल बी फॉर एन एक्स इक्वल थीटा लाइक ए साइन थीटा फॉर एन कंसीडरिंग एक्स इक्वल जीरो देन साइन थीटा विल बी जीरो और साइन थीटा इज साइन जीरो डिग्री और थीटा विल बी जीरो एंड अगेन फॉर साइन थीटा फॉर एक्स इक्वल अपर लिमिट ए ए देन देयर विल बी साइन ए डिवाइडेड बाय ए एंड ए इक्वल पाई बाय टू then theta will be pi by 2 as like as previous one we can write here pi by 2 so now just apply the value here 4 times of this one will be upper limit pi by 2 0 and b by a square root of a square minus x square so this one will be a square sin square sin square theta and then dx the result of dx is a cos theta and d theta so now uh, apply the value here if we take here common a square and then eliminating there will be four times of uh, b by a integration pi by 2 0 then there will be taking common here a square so a square is common then 1 minus sin square theta square root of and this one is a cos theta d theta okay then 4 by uh, 4 uh, 4 b by a uh, just taking out a square from root the eliminating square and root there will be only a uh, and this a multiply with this a there will be a square 1 minus sin square will be cos square and square root of cos square will be cos and with multiplying this cos there will be cos square theta and d theta and doing the integration here this one will be pi by 2 and 0 so uh, now uh, a square divided by a you will get here uh, twice a b and then twice is twice cos square you can write the formula as like as previous one 1 plus cos twice theta and d theta will remain same and integration limit pi by 2 0 uh, now apply here twice a b uh, there will be 1 and dx so you will get after integration you will get theta there will be 1 by 2 sine uh, 1 by 2 sine twice theta just now apply upper limit and lower limit here pi by 2 0 so now uh, doing calculation you will get here uh, twice a b twice a b so in uh, applying here pi by 2 first times you will get here pi by 2 plus uh, pi by 2 plus half times of half times of sine twice pi so this one will be sine 2 pi by 2 and there will be 0 minus 0 so do simple calculation twice a b and pi by 2 eliminating this one sine pi equals to 0 so answer will be 0 here so twice a b multiply pi by 2 final result eliminating 2 this one will be pi a b and which is the area 
which is the area of an ellipse is pi ab okay actually the area of a circle and area of an ellipse the both calculation form is the same just first you have to start from the equation find the value of y and just first write the equations of this one as the first quadrant just taking here four times you will get the area of an ellipse now applying the value of y after doing the calculation and successively you will get the area of an ellipse as like a circle and this one is pi a is pi a b pi a is uh, a is semi major axis and b is semi minor axis and this one is called semi major axis and this one is called semi minor axis so Thank you very much to enjoy this tutorial. If you have any question, please do comment. So, we'll see you again in the next tutorial. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.